almost as much as the bottom 90%. Does anyone think that that comes anywhere close to being where the United States of America should be? No one can tell me that in an economy today in which 99% of all new income goes to the top 1% is anything like the economy we want to see. And the reality, the questions that we have to ask ourselves, pretty simple questions. All of you know that in recent years, there has been an explosion in technology and worker productivity, right? Every worker today is producing more than he or she did years ago. How does it happen then that people are working longer hours, more lower wages? Who made those decisions that we give people the tools to produce more and yet they earn less? And one of the points that I've been making, one of the fun things about running for president is you can raise issues that no one else has talked about. That's a lot of fun to do. So it's like what happens when people's incomes go down and median family income in America has gone down by about $5,000 since 1999. What happens is that people are forced to work longer and longer hours. All of you remember, remember when we were in school, we read these textbooks, and there were pictures in the textbooks of workers out on the streets demonstrating in early 1900s. What were they demonstrating for? Remember? They were demonstrating for a 40-hour work, eight-hour day. And what the unions were saying is they say, how are people, are human beings? They're not beasts of burden. They want time off for leisure. They want time off to spend with their family. They want to get more education. That was 100 years ago. And today, here are the facts. 85% of working men are working longer than 40 hours a week. 65% of working women are working longer than 40 hours a week. And our people today work more hours than do the people in any other industrialized nation. Japanese work very, very hard. We work a lot more hours than they do. And let me tell you what the result is, because I go all over the country. We have an exhausted people. <laughs> Our people are tired. They're stressed out. I will never forget, in Burlington, Vermont, uh, going to a grocery store, and I came out, there was a woman there. I said, you know, Bernie, I just want to mention something to you. Uh, my husband and I have one kid, and we would like to have another kid. But we don't think we can be the parents that we want to be because he's working three jobs and I'm working three jobs. And if you think that that is uncommon, it is not. In my state and all over this country, people are working two, three jobs to cobble together an income. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is, yes, we could understand that if we were a poor country. You know, we were a Haiti. If we were a poor country, people were struggling, working in front of us. We are the richest country in the history of the world. And yet nobody knows that because almost all of the wealth and all of the income is going to a handful of people. And that has got to change. Well, it seems to me what we have got to do